Hi there, this is Rubina Kododin, artist, healer and spiritual guide. How to deal with our insecurities? Of course, I'm not talking about insecurity regarding uh, physical threats or insecurities about feelings of not having enough money and all that kind of stuff. I'm only talking about the security that we find, that we feel inside ourselves, the insecurities that we might have regarding different situations, regarding the fact that sometimes we don't have the courage to say things that we're supposed to be saying, that we need to say to feel more secure. So um, as I am talking about this, I've already <laughs> given you the very first step is to really make sure that you acknowledge what is it that you feel insecure about. Is it that uh, maybe a situation makes you feel insecure whether it is at college at uh, whatever at work in a relationship is to identify the situation or the circumstances that are making you feel insecure and then the second thing is to look at this situation let's say there are many situations that make you feel insecure is to look at one of them at a time and say let's say if it's at college right and uh, you don't feel at ease because maybe the people you are at college with they are not so much respecting you or they're rejecting you then is to kind of look at this and say what is happening what is the message that the universe uh, if you are a believer God <laughs> uh, if you don't believe in anything you can say what is it that my inner being m my soul my heart what is it that is trying to tell me so let's say you uh, just as I said uh, about college right let's say you're at college and there are your friends or people who are supposed you can't make friends people are always rejecting you uh, and not talking to you <laughs> I, I, I can talk about this situation because this was my whole childhood years not uh, not having a single friend to have lunch with anyway but at the time I was too little so I couldn't talk and think about insecurities but um, so let's say if it's at college then what is it that your inner being is telling you It's telling you that you are needing some warmth you're needing some security you maybe need to voice something out so of course each situation will be different so let's say if it's a situation with friends then possibly you need to look out for other friends that will make you feel more accepted or possibly even you might need to change college uh, possibly you might need to change town I'm not saying that it is easy to put this in place but if the insecurities are so deeply rooted that you don't feel good then possibly there is a change in the circumstances that can help you feel more secure so that's the very first thing. The second thing is that as insecurity is not just what other people are making us feel. Sometimes, let's say, if it's in a relationship and you feel insecure, then possibly it might be that it is because you don't trust the person or maybe because the maybe because you're not voicing out what are the issues in the relationship. So the insecurity is the deeper feeling that has been uh, uh, sort of coaxed from a series of smaller feelings a series of smaller events a, sm a feeling a series of maybe smaller resentments so if it's in a relationship for instance it is very important that talking about the insecurity usually doesn't help <laughs> because the other person might feel this as a threat they might feel it as you know you are you are being a CC or whatever so it's not so, so much talking about the insecurity the insecurity is like is the, the the end result so it's looking about the different factors and issues and deal with them individually so if it's something that you need to talk about to your partner uh, then do so and obviously in a obviously in a in a loving but fearless way
because most of the time people who feel insecure they're also very worried about what the other person is going to think about them what the other person is going to feel so we go into other person's head even before voicing out what we have to say so make sure that you voice out whatever thing is troubling you in the relationship not so much your kind of blurting out all your emotional insecurity because that usually doesn't go down very well so now we're coming to the core issue because insecurities is a feeling of being feeling unprotected of feeling so vulnerable and these uh, feelings to kind of for them to dissipate on a longer level we need to be able to uh, be more connected to our inner self or we need to be more connected to our spiritual self so um, how to do that is uh, I won't go into this now but you can go at, watch my series of videos about how to connect to your soul how to connect to your spiritual self and um, and yes because our soul which is our sort of invisible part or you can call it your inner being is actually linked with the whole universe so of course a situation can make us feel insecure but if you think about it let's say if it's um, an, an individual situation let's say in your workplace it's your boss that's making you feel insecure he is one person he's just one person in this whole universe and the universe is everything is the, is nature is the <laughs> is the invisible realms that we are connected to is our our potential inside of us so as we linking linking more with these parts of us our soul and our spiritual dimension then we will find a more security and you will see in those videos i talk about here that we've got the heart space where we can connect to our our nature which is like a more global nature not just me as a physical human being and also as you're doing that you will get less and less insecure because you will get the sort of power and energy from the universe to come and help you and as time goes you will even start seeing those people or circumstances that are creating insecurities as being almost nonsensical because they're just one person or one situation and you're linked with so much more um, so do look at the videos about how to connect to the soul, how to um, start your spiritual journey. There's healing meditations on my website, as on, the, sorry, on the YouTube channel as well. Make sure you've cl you click the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't done so yet. And uh, uh, please do leave me a comment sometimes because so I can see your feedback. And if there are any subjects you want me to touch, touch upon, I'll be happy to do that. Many thanks for your presence and see you soon.